Hey, what's up guys? My name is Comagic, and uh, today I'm going to be showing you my render settings and uh, a couple of video FX that I usually add to all my commentaries before I do them up for render. Alright, so I'm going to open up Vegas Pro and uh, alright, first you're going to start up by uh, uploading a video onto here. So once you have your video, you drop it down below. Uh, the first thing you want to do, the first thing you want to do is right click properties disable resample all right uh, go to video effects go to color curves all right do it like that remember you, you do it like around here you don't want to add too much brightness because then it's going to make your video look weird and uh, now you make it a little bit darker all right now you even it up right there so you see how it is you don't want to make it too long the longer you go the darker your video is and uh brightness right here so you keep it even <laughs> i mean you keep it even and uh if you want to make your video a little bit more colorful, like uh, let's say if I want to make my RPG more greener, you add some uh, color secondary. Go to saturation, you move this up. Never go more than 150 because then it's going to be uh, like too colorful. I usually go to 1000, 137 where it makes it still look good. Now you go down below, find sharpen, you add sharpen to it. What this does is uh, it makes your video clear more clearer so let's say people that have blurry vision you put clear you add sharpen and uh, makes it sharper it makes it way better a yogi a boo boo see <laughs> it looks way better now this is what i add to all my videos it makes them look marvelous spectacular sexy and uh, etc etc now for the render settings which is the main thing why y'all here for oh yeah those of you who always ask me how i record my commentaries how do I add the voice to it? Well, it's simple. You know, you plug in your headset to your computer, and uh, right here, you right click, insert audio track, you go right here, record, and uh, voila, just like that. It, it'll record your voice from where you want to start it. You see how it goes with my voice? And uh, yeah, that's what you do right there. It's simple as that. Now you, all right, now for the rendering, I'm going to show you guys the real settings now, all right? Uh, my computer is not that my computer is not fast fast or slow But uh, it's a little bit over medium, which is just the right size for me. Just the right thing Save as type what you want to change is save as type may put it to main concept AVC slash AAC mp4 and uh, go to custom You you put your video frame size, which is 1280 by 720 your profile is main frame rate it doesn't matter if you put 60 frames per second or 30. It's still going to be 30 no matter what because YouTube only allows 30 frames per second at the moment. So if you put 59 frame rate per second, it still doesn't matter. It's going to drop it down to 30 once you upload it. And uh, very real bit rate right here. This is the main trick about render times and uh, your file size. Um, I render at seven because it adds a little. It makes it more clearer, and my file size my file size does not come out too big. Before I used to before when I had my old slow computer, I used to render it at four million, four million by four million. What this does is the file size comes out very small. Um, fi a five minute video rendered at four million would come out to 150 megabytes. That's the, that's the <laughs> nice trick about it. But the main thing is that it won't be as clear as one of the other videos, which you would render in 7 million. So I recommend you not to go over seven. That's just my opinion. If you wanna go, if you wanna go ahead and render at 10, then you're gonna come out with a big file size. I know this because I rendered a 10 minute video at 8 million and my file size came out to 700 you know you don't want that happening well you could always like make your videos file size smaller by compressing it and stuff like that but why bother i don't do any of that so yeah if you have a slow computer try uh 4 million by 4 million and tell me your fast render setting times and your file size i guarantee you it will bring great results as long as you'd you add the same the same effects to your video that I just did in this video, you will be happy. I guarantee it. I give you my word, unless <laughs> you've seen better. I don't know. All right. Now go to project your video rendering quality, change it at best, and that's it. See, you rendered MP4. 
Um, if you render in WMV and you add a lot of color curves and a lot of effects, then your video is going to lag. So don't do that with WMV. That's why I suggest MP4 only. I don't know what is it with a couple of people on YouTube uploading videos like that look like this. You see, this right here is not good for YouTube. Like it's it's not bad, but it's uh, it's not covering the whole screen. You know, usually when you watch one of my videos, my whole video covers the whole screen and looks nicer. And then uh, this guy has a dazzle. You know, it, it doesn't. It wouldn't hurt to at least fix the quality. You know, you you he can he can put this video in Vegas and stretch it out across the screen, make it look ten times better. All right, guys, if you haven't added me on Facebook, I suggest you add me on Facebook to uh, keep close to me, keep keep in touch with me for like in case you have any questions and I get on and uh, you want to ask me something then you know you can feel free to ask me whatever and uh, if you haven't subscribed to my community channel I suggest you you subscribe now if you want to I'm not forcing you uh, there will be a link in the description for my Facebook and my community channel and uh, that's it guys that's my brand new settings for today don't forget to comment rate, and subscribe as it helps me out a lot and uh, peace out everyone